Yes, we start tonight in Rockland. The school board is meeting about parental notification even as we speak at 11 p.m. It's a controversial policy that would force the school to notify parents if their students wants to be called a different gender or pronoun. Tonight, hundreds of people have gathered outside the district building in Rockland, both in support of and against the proposed policy. This was the scene at around 5 this afternoon, and now, six hours later, people are still waiting for their turn to speak. ABC 10's Luke Clary is live in Rockland tonight with more on this debate. And Luke, that vote has not happened yet, right? Yeah, Chris, Laura, this has been a marathon public comment session. Uh, people were lining up here at 5, even earlier than that. And here we are past 11, and we still do not have a vote. Throughout the day, there have been explosive moments here of debate, very heated arguments between people. And with hundreds of people here to make public comment, it really just goes to show how divisive this issue has become. Tensions flared as parents, students, and neighbors made their way into the Rockland Unified School Board meeting. What is it like to be here? Awful. It's very divided. This has gotten ugly. People get ugly. The battle lines drawn between this crowd. Not okay! Not okay! And yeah. board president Julie Hupp and the board's conservative majority, who want a policy that would mandate that teachers report transgender students' identity or pronouns to their parents. I question whether or not very many people have actually read and understood the policy. Uh, they say it's about making sure parents are involved. The easiest way I can communicate my why is, if there is not a notification, there cannot be a dialogue. Opponents of the policy say it could put children at risk. I think their kids have a right to take some time, and if the kids aren't going to their parents to talk to them about it, that right there, there's something wrong with the family bonds that they talk about. This is still a, a fringe issue that's targeting a very, very small and very vulnerable group of our kids in Rockland Unified. The debate coming the same day a San Bernardino judge blocked a similar policy at a Southern California school district, but supporters remain determined. When do we say enough is enough? Our children are our children until they're 18 years old. So too are the opponents. It is up to the student to tell their parents when they feel that is safe and necessary for them to know that information about them. And if anything was clear as public comments stretched into the night, it's that this debate is far from settled. And this is also the first meeting since Board President Hupp called for Christ-centered parents to join the district's advisory committees in a social media post that went viral. And so, Luke, is that something the school board talked about tonight? Yeah, Chris, President Hupp actually addressed that at the very top of the meeting. She said she wanted to clarify her comments to say that people of all faiths were invited to contribute. And I have to tell you, uh, although that moment became a viral moment and she was roundly criticized by some folks uh, for making those comments, the real focus of tonight's meeting and much of the public comment here tonight, again, returns to that parental notification policy and so again the public comment the marathon session here continues in Rockland we'll continue to monitor this and bring you updates as they come but for now we'll send it back to you yeah certainly a lot of emotions on all sides of this issue like Luke said the vote hasn't happened parents are still waiting to speak Luke Clary live in Rockland tonight tracking updates for us thank you